keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, welcome to this video from racingbetdata.com. Uh, in this video today, we're going to be looking at pace. So each horse uh, within our data dashboard has been given a pace rating, and uh, that was introduced uh, September 2017, as you can see here. So we've got over five years worth of pace, pace ratings for, for each horse in a race. Now, just to explain a little bit about pace, what it is, um, each horse is given a pace rating based around how forwardly it likes to race. Um, and this combines to create a pace forecast for each race, which allows you to see how a race is likely to be run, which horses are likely to be front runners. Um, so they'd be given a, a higher pace rating, eight, nine, 10. Uh, and the horses that are likely to be held up, uh, a lower pace rating. Um, and where a horse is, is novice, hasn't run before, uh, there's no pace rating associated with that horse. So everything's ranked zero to 10. And like I said, essentially around uh, how forwardly a horse likes to, to run in the race. Um, the element around pace can be used and is used by, by traders as one, um, one factor in determining whether a horse's odds are likely to shorten in, in running. So predominantly they're looking for a horse that's gonna go to the front of the, uh, the, the field when racing. If it doesn't, then they'll be looking to exit because it's not performing as they expected. And if it does, they might have set a, an automated trade in play or have a specific point in the market where they're looking to ex ex exit. So they're not really interested in where the horse finishes the race. What they're interested in is backing it before the start of the race at its um, opening price or price X amount of minutes before the race. And then they're looking to lay uh, to exit um, at a lower price, which basically gives you a green screen. Um, and we can show you that through our um, green up calculator later on in the video. So what I'm gonna start doing is exporting the data from our dashboard. You can do the same and break it down by years and months and get uh, the last five years worth of data together in a file. Um, and then we can start looking at how the pace rating has performed historically. Okay, so I've exported five years worth of data from the data dashboard, it took about half an hour. Um, but as I've said in other videos, it's the benefit of exporting that data and creating your own data archive. It means you don't have to do it each time. Uh, you could each week or each month um, export a clump of data and add it to your existing database or daily if you like. Um, that ensures that you can keep an up-to-date archive of horse racing results so you don't have to export in bulk each time. Now, the areas I'm going to be focusing on in this video are the bet for SP, the in-play minimum, and pace predominantly. Um, and what we're going to do is calculate the, um, the odds drop in play in running uh, for these historical races. And we do display this in our pre-race download file automatically. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be calculating this again for each horse as we've got that all, all the selections together uh, and then creating a pivot table to analyse the effect of a pace rating on the actual um, depreciation of odds in play. So I'm going to create a simple column here called drop and I'm just going to put in the calculation. So this is the correct way to calculate the odd reduction in running. Uh, so it's the bet for SP, SP minus the uh, in play low and that's divided by bet for SP minus one uh, as a percentage. Rounded up, that would be 100%. And then we can select that all the way down. And as you can see that it's calculated where we've got a, a minus figure it shows that the, the odds in running actually did not uh, reduce further than the, than the bet for SP for whatever reason, a bad start for the horse, obviously. Um, and that gives us our um, drop, percentage drop, okay? And from that, I'm gonna create a pivot table uh, on here and we're going to select the bet, uh, the pace rating in here and the drop in odds in here and we're going to change that to average so you can see the average and we'll just change that format to uh, percentage okay so you can see at a glance there the odds drop uh, average in in running take out the blanks and I can display that in a graphical format that will uh, make it even easier to spot visually. So you can see here that the higher the pace rating, uh, the higher the average drop in odds. In fact, you can pretty much spot it through uh, 
two, three, four, five, pretty even. And then when you get to six, seven, eight, where the horses are likely to be more front running, nine and ten, the odds drop uh, at a, a larger a larger rate. So that is what we expect. Uh, and the data holds true to that value. Now we can apply a linear uh, trend line. We've almost got to discount these. So these are where the, the, the horses, like I said, are you, you're not expected to front run at all, they, or there's no value behind them where the zero is. But there's a certain increase as you go through the, um, the pace rating. And it's pretty evident from eight, nine and ten, certainly upwards, that the horses at odds are almost expected to, to half in running when there's a pace rating of ten. Um, now, what that means in uh, layman's terms is if a horse, I'm going to show you the calculation here, for horses odds um, are, let's say that the SP is 3.5, um, the calculation is thus, uh, you can put in the reference to the cell, or you can just type that in, uh, and then we do a divide by one, and plus one. So that is the expected, based on the average, a horse with a BSP, 3.5 it's on average it would drop to around 2.3 in in running um, um you know that's that doesn't mean that every horse that for the pace rating of 10 is going to it's going to drop by that level but on average so some will drop more some will go on and win the race uh, and some won't drop at all but on average that is the expected um, level that a horse will drop to now i'm just going to bring up the daily file yeah, uh, and what we can do is have a look, because we're in the morning of the day's racing, we can have a look at what horses um, have a pace racing of 10 that are due to run today, and let's see how they get on. Um, now, more than one way to do this, you can export just from the dashboards, dashboard as I've, as I've shown you already, you can just click on the filter for 10, click today from the radio button, you can use the pre-race download file and use filtering across the top, um, or you can use the preloaded slicers, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to select just today's horses and where there's a pace rating of 10. And that gets us our list of horses that are running today or due to run today with a pace rating of 10. Um, and we're going to keep an eye on them. And what I'm going to do is simulate a, uh, a back at the BSP for each one of those horses uh, and then a lay bet at the... Um, 47% um, reduction in odds for each one of those. Um, and then what we can do is after the event, so these races are all uh, all going to be done by, by five o'clock, they'll be done. Uh, we can then see how we would have got on on this small sample size of 10 horses um, if we'd done a back to lay on each one of those horses that are running today. So I'm going to stop the video now. Um, we're at 12.20 and we'll pick up the video again uh, this afternoon and see how we would have got on and we'll use the green up calculator to work out what our profit and loss would have been doing this as an experiment for the day okay fast forwarded through the day it's just gone five o'clock so i'm going to download today's results and i'm also going to go to um, our example download page and going to download the uh, green up tool uh, and then we can have a look at the results it's gonna be quite interesting because I've not checked these out today so uh, we'll see how uh, how we would have fared okay so we've got the uh, results file open here we're gonna flick back to the um, the daily pre race file that we um, we had up earlier which had our 10 horses that we were uh, selecting uh, based on the fact that they had a pace rating of 10 um, I'm going to open a new blank workbook here and just paste these back in again and uh, just put the time and the, the horses we did earlier um, and remember there was no suffix so I don't need to do any uh, manipulation of the, um, the horse name but you've already seen in the video earlier how we can do that so this should be a straight lookup now using the results file uh, to, to get the data we need so what we need is the BSP uh, and we also want to say uh, what the in-play low was and our target uh, in-play low. So remember what we're doing here is looking at horses that 
um, have a pace rating of 10, where historically uh, the average drop is 47.33%. Uh, so I'm going to pop that in there and lock it in, make it bold and open that one up. Uh, so we're looking at horses where the, like I said, the average drop is 47.33. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that all horses are going to drop by 47.33. As I've said already, some are going to drop considerably more than that. Some are not going to drop to that level at all. Some won't even drop. Uh, some might increase. Um, so this is, a, this is an experiment on a relatively small sample size of so 10 horses. It's not going to tell us anything about whether this is a, a long-term profitable or not strategy for trading uh, back to lay. But what I'm doing in this video is showing you how you can uh, calculate it using the data at your disposal. Um, and it's also shown you already, like I said, the pace, uh, the, the higher the pace rating, um, the, the, the bigger the drop in odds. And that's uh, statistically proven. So let's use uh, VLOOKUP. We could use um, some ifs here as well, but I'm gonna use VLOOKUP to uh, check the starting prices of these horses from our results file uh, that we've just downloaded. So we're gonna go for the horse column and then we're gonna look at the BSP. So you can see across the top, that's column 17. And we're also gonna get the in play low, which is column 10. Now remember, the difference between this file and uh, the, the odds in the database, so the ones that are published on the pre-race download file, the ones that you export from the data dashboard, those ones um, are where there's been a minimum of £100 matched. So the intention of those is when you're doing any testing, system creation, uh, that sort of thing, there's a bit more reliability around uh, you getting a match where there's £100 um, or more been, been matched at that value. So you might see lower odds in here. Um, and the reason is this is taken live from the race as it happens, uh, where the odds bounce around. It might be that as little as £2 has been matched at these uh, prices. So they're great for showing you the uh, the pattern and the ebb and the flow of the um, the traded um, prices as the horse ran, but it doesn't give you the volume behind it. So um, so when you're doing any testing, always best to use the data dashboard and the pre-race download, which uh, funnels the same odds from the uh, from the database. This is more a visual for how the odds went in play. Okay, so back to getting the odds. So we need column seventeen here. And we want an exact match on the horse name. I'm just going to freeze that one so I can drag it across. And we can change that one to uh, column 10. So you can see straight away there that this one barely dropped. Hey ho, let's go. So it hardly dropped at all. Um, so that would be an unsuccessful back to lay. Uh, and also conversant down the bottom, not, not found in there. So that was a non-runner. So we can delete that off. So we have an even smaller sample size. Okay. So like I said, this isn't going to tell us a great deal. Um, it's going to show you how you can test and check um, and that is the, the, the objective of this video so to check the the in play low the target in play low um, so we've already spoken about this briefly before but the formula you need to use in here is the bsp minus one and then we times that by uh, one minus the average odds or the odds you want it to drop by uh, and then we do a division by one and then finally add one to get the odds. So we can um, convert that to to number uh, just to round it to a two digit and drop it down. OK, so that shows you what our target was. So if we're doing a back to lay, we'd be backing and saying bet for a starting price. Obviously, you don't have to. If you're doing this real life, you can be backing two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, the morning, the day before, whatever, whenever you want to do it. Um, to give a fixed value here, we're using the Betfair starting price. So we're backing at that price and we're looking to lay at this price. Now, obviously, if the in-play load doesn't reach that level, that would be an unsuccessful trade and your backing stake would be lost. OK, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, win loss in here just to uh, do a quick check. And we're going to say if uh, in-play low is less than or equal to the target, put one and otherwise put zero. So of our nine, you can see down the bottom there that four of those uh, were successful trades and five were not. So that would be uh, a losing day. But we can elaborate further and show you profit loss, how you can calculate this. Now you can use our um, free green up tool. As I said, it's on the example download part of the website. Uh, 
and I'm going to bring that on screen now and show you how you can use that. Uh, just find that one, there it is. Okay, so we put the back odds, the lay odds, or you can put the tick change in here, um, and it will calculate the profit, uh, including commission. Now I could put this formula into the same worksheet, but I'm going to show you, might as well in this video, how we can use uh, this uh, tool as well. So we obviously only need to use it for the horses that uh, did match. So we're going to use Agostino first, 20.39 backed at, uh, and then we're going to target the lay at 11.21. Uh, we can put the stake, whatever it is. So let's put £10 in there. Um, and there you go, that's a profit, it would be £8.03, pence, uh, including a 2% commission on there. So we can put that value in here, £8.02. Pence. Oh, sorry, £8.03, pence, doing myself out of a penny. Uh, Primrose Ridge was the next uh, successful one. So the starting odds for Primrose Ridge were 12 and we're looking to lay at 6.79. Uh, and obviously these odds aren't rounded, but you know, near as damn it, £7.52. Uh, Bellaston Boy, uh, starting price 10.5 and we're looking to lay at 6, it would be a £7.35 profit. And Autumn Festival finally. 5.58 and that horse actually won the race um, so £6.24 uh, and we can do a, uh, a quick £10 negative on all of these other ones because we know that the back bet would have lost uh, and we can do a sum down here so you can see from that really small sample size on the day £20.86 would have been lost it wouldn't have told us anything different if all of those trades were profitable um, this is a one-off nine horses one day, it, you, this needs to be tested over a period of um, weeks, months, and if not more than months, then perhaps a whole year really to, to get any uh, sustainability around it. Um, but there you go, that's the video, that's what we said we'd do, um, and that's how you can use the data to calculate uh, whether there's a successful edge in uh, back to lay trading.